Hey, listeners. Thanks for joining us for your daily Bible verse. We hope you enjoy this deeper look at one of your favorite or maybe not so well-known Bible verses. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and verses by topic, we'd love for you to visit us on BibleStudyTools.com. You Reap What You Sow by Jennifer Heeren, read by Leah Martin. Today's Bible verse is Galatians 6, 7-8. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. The concept of sowing and reaping is immensely better than karma. The sowing part is not just a duty that I must perform. There's nourishment that accompanies doing the will of God and helping other people. There's a joy in finishing good works for the Lord, John 4.34, and that joy isn't dependent on the harvest that may come later. Psalm 126.5 says, Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. God can even bring joy out of dire, even tragic events. God's love is so much greater than karma. In God's economy, things are hardly ever tit for tat. In some moments, I plant but never really see the harvest, at least not a harvest that's directly related. In other moments, I receive a harvest that I didn't plant. John 4, 37 through 38. God's kingdom is a world of walking by faith, not sight. Faith that God will bring good things from all that I plant, even when I don't see it. And faith that there will be much grace, even when I'm not able to plant. Reaping and sowing is all about blessings and consequences. I seek to live in obedience more and more by sowing good things, and then I reap other good things, but not necessarily in the same field. I often sow in one field and reap in another. Always remember that whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. 2 Corinthians 9.6 So go ahead and sow generously, even lavishly. There's always some kind of reward. Some rewards are instantaneous and easy to spot. Others take a little more introspection to see, but they're there all the same. Then there's grace. Karma believers don't often take grace into account. God's law of sowing and reaping includes much grace. You can learn from the good things you do, and you can also learn from the wrong things you do. You can learn from successes as well as mistakes. You can do better each day as you grow in obedience. Dire circumstances don't mean that you deserve to stay down. Sowing good deeds can give me benefits, but I can also receive benefits even when I don't deserve it. That's grace. I can also receive benefits, lessons, and second chances even when I do wrong things. That's mercy. God is extremely generous with both grace and mercy. Karma leads to doing things to earn other things, but God prefers that I do good things as a gift out of the gratitude that I feel for His love. We get the opportunity to reap what we sow. We often reap more than we sow. Sometimes we even reap much later than we sow. And we can even reap some things that we never sowed. God always brings many blessings, both deserved and undeserved. And actually, even the ones we work for are undeserved. God is much better than we deserve. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse. 
a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.